Hi there. Well, my uh, new webcam is giving me fits now, so we'll see if it'll record a whole video. This one is called Mayan Calendar Woes, and it's the first one from Saturday, March 27, 2010. The Mayan day was five ahau, or light, or lord. Things are delightfully different as usual anymore. That's all a part of time having lost its teeth. Yeah, it is aging, getting ready to croak. But meanwhile, it's just getting powerless. Yeah, the balance of power is shifting. Everything's in the mix right now. It's a really great time to be alive and in one of these DNA skin suits, these bodies. We have opportunity, literally, like never before, to go higher, to be empowered in whole new ways. Actually, now, don't let me deceive you, for these new ways are likely rather old, as in way old. Still, they might as well be new, since we've quite forgotten what it's like to be empowered here on Earth for such a long time. It's like we never knew. Ah, but we did, you see. We're quite multidimensional, and on some of those other, those higher dimensions, we know all of that. Yep, that knowledge isn't going anywhere. It can't. It is what it is. That's all. And so it's safe. We can relax about that. It'll keep till we get to it. Here it is, only 9 a.m., and already I've recorded three videos, and they're uploading. Time? What's that? Who cares, I say. Adieu. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Better letting you go, though. Bye-bye. Farewell. See you later. Whatever that means. Actually, though, since the real reality is that time is simultaneous in the higher dimensions, all our memories are really quite safe. They exist forever. We can go visit them anytime. Even any lifetime, then, is quite now available. I kid you not. It will only get stranger and stranger, my friends, this thing about time. May I suggest a visit to MayanMagics.com, M-A-J-I-X. In the learning lab there, you'll find some lovely videos that even just one of them, just listen to one, it will immerse you in the Mayans' understanding of things, at least as far as we know it. Ian Lungold is the lecturer there. In his form or body, he's no longer with us, but... Before he left, he got together with Dr. Carl Kalman, a brilliant scientist, I think from Sweden, and together they worked many things out. Beyond that, though, they got the approval of Mayan elders on their overall understanding of what they were presenting and what calendars they were using. The Mayans have many, many, many calendars. This is more than the rest of those preaching the Mayan calendar have done, as far as I know. So, for those who like the mind still, I offer you that. Don't get used to it, though. I have little use for mind. It's right, till it's wrong. It just works like that. Nothing to rely on, see? Time and the 2012 thing. Hmm. According to Ian and Dr. Kalaman, it's really going to be 2011, and they explain the way they worked that out. Check it out. I don't really agree, but that's only me. I sing my song, though, and no one else's. I hope you will, too, once you go in heart and find it. We're all called to do that, you know. In our numbers is great strength. In what way do I disagree with the 2012 prophecies? Well, where do we start? Let's just leave 2012 aside for the moment 
and look at our system of calculating time altogether. It's rot. Yep, bunk em. Did you know that millions of people were slaughtered to enforce the Gregorian calendar way of looking at things? Think about that. All those native peoples around the world forced to surrender their view of reality, their way of thinking, surrender it or die. They lose their language, their dress and customs, and, oh yes, their view of time. No longer allowed, nothing sacred about time, can't be. A capital crime. Kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why? I'll leave you with that then. For more, go to the website. I'll provide a link uh, both in the description field here and in the transcript. Enjoy. Oh, and be sure to be in heart when you're checking things out. That's where your inner teacher is. You'll hear her better from there. Just a word to the wise.